Alright, welcome back to Dying Light 2. Just picking up where we left off the story. Asked a question that made someone a little offended. But, uh... I'm gonna, yeah. go, I'm gonna go fuck with Juan. Hopefully not fuck Juan, since... The seagull. That is hilarious. Heard about the qualifications until today. These sketchy types are usually caught by the guards at the end. Isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you. I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. I'm almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. I <laughs> hope I didn't make a mistake by drinking this shit. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. 
I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Want to talk more about whiskey? Cathedral. Oh, they try again. Juan sent me on an errand into the cathedral. Is there anything I should know about? Not much. Just that people say it's haunted. Haunted? <laughs> about what? A, a ghost? Yeah, right. Anyway, the cathedral's been locked up for years, but there's scaffolding around it. You can probably use that to climb to a window and get inside. <laughs> Still sure you want to run errands for Juan? Might as well. Suit yourself, big boy. <laughs> Big ass building. Scaffolding to get inside. Oh, 
Stay. Disgusting. Curious. Like a beetle, ignorant of the foot above. Yeah, I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Right. Oh, great. Mm, the cables. I've got to find a source of power. Enough. I just want to talk. Hey, can you hear me? Ew. Good shit in here. I have a 
job for you. Come on, man. Missing something here. Hey, you! Where are you? Leave me, damn you! into my home. Yeah. You killed Leto. What else do you want? Where are you? Listen to me, you nutcase! Why must you bother me? Leave me alone, you hear? Suck a big old bag of nuts. Oh god. Fuck just killed me. What the fuck was that? 
What was that? I'm trying to get through this fucking shit ass mission, man. Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? It's some old spy tech. I need it fixed, that's all. Is that all? Well, I have no intention of helping you. Oh, God, seriously, weren't you just begging me to kill you? That option is still open. Kill me or kiss my ass and leave. What do I care about your problems? We know nothing about each other. I'm only interested in fixing this bug. Why should I tell you anything? Get the hell out of here already. So, um, who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina dentata. A vagina with fangs. With what? A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? Yeah, I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto! She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Right. You mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements. So look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck. This motherfucker is crazy. What is this place, anyway? The biggest church in the country. It was believed that a god lived inside. But I've been sitting here for almost ten years, and haven't met one yet. <laughs> now can I climb this? 
Nope, get the fuck away before it shocks the shit out of me for no fucking reason. This place is huge. Well, those who built it believed that this way they would get closer to God. But when the epidemic came, it didn't help anyone. Why did you murder those peacekeepers? I didn't murder anyone. I defended myself against people who wanted to rob me. Wouldn't you do the same if strangers broke into your home? Yeah. I don't know. I never had a home. Bastard! <laughs> oh, this is a hell of a hard climb. A marvel, isn't it? A miracle of architecture. The pinnacle of human achievement, our ancestors' crowning glory. And today, we just climb it like monkeys. <laughs> uh, I got it. Well done. I can see it's hard to discourage you. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me. I want to climb all the way up to the top since I'm here. If I fucking even can. Can I get on those things? I can. Up here. <laughs> Fucking nothing. Pretty cool view, though. All right. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so what's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. <laughs> oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. Reports to Juan. Juan? Success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how... Unreal, this guy is. I told you he was just this side of bad shit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Yeah, I need to get a, <clears throat> some good height.
yourself a new weapon at the army. Looks like, uh, uh, pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Got it, Ada. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay, and when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. <laughs> I want to do this at night anyway. Join us. Roger. At the 
fish eye. I might be able to fish trap there. Yep. What the fuck is running shit there? in the VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Hey man, there isn't a high time we put this shit before a firing squad. Wow. The dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, He'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was going to send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Oh, look at that. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could have used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving taunts. Shut us. up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself, I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes. A great day to die. I hear Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. A hot load of horse shit. Hey, then. You've been around a while. You practically want to So that's the pilgrim. Don't look like much of a sinner. Good to see you. Took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. 
Roe Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning. And it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. I'll talk to him, but I'm still gonna climb that big-ass fucking tower. Bro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. Where is he what does this word even mean? Peevish. Frank, are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and led the others astray. <clears throat> who was that? A Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Rav... <clears throat> Past is dead. So they say. <laughs> what matters is... <sighs> that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but... How can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now... Fuck you. Go sweep off that alcohol now. Big boy tower. Get my 
ass in there. Rose already waiting for you, pillow. There's this ringing in my ear. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's all. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. Alright, sorry to leave it there, but uh, that's all the time I got for this episode. I'll uh, continue the story in the next uh, video. But, uh, yeah. This is goodbye for now.